Well, Southern California has been baking under some of the strongest coastal heat waves in decades. The fourth largest, in fact, since 1982. And KCAL climatologist Marina Jerica explains why hotter nights and higher humidity are really reshaping life in our backyard. Southern California is famous for its cool coastal nights when ocean breezes normally give us a break from the heat. But during this marine heat wave in the ocean, that relief has been rare. Humidity is higher and overnight lows are staying warm, meaning opening the windows doesn't cool our homes the way that it used to. That's more than uncomfortable. Nighttime heat is harder on our bodies, raising risks of dehydration, heat stroke, and even heart problems. So here Here's the climate signal around the world. Nighttime temperatures are rising faster than daytime highs. In fact, the biggest warming trend in California isn't what we feel in the afternoon. It's what we don't escape at night. No other month is warming faster than September's lows. Average overnight lows in this month have warmed almost 12 degrees in a century, a little more than a degree every decade, which is much faster compared to the rise of daytime high. So hotter nights also fuel stronger storms by pumping more water vapor into the atmosphere. And just offshore, marine life is under stress. Warmer waters hold less oxygen, threatening kelp forests and fish and the food web that depends on them. So according to NOAA, the world's oceans have absorbed over 90% of the extra heat that's trapped by greenhouse gases, with the Pacific Ocean holding the largest share. When we see record-breaking coastal heat in SoCal, it's not just a human story, it's a warning from the ocean itself. This heat wave is more than an outlier. It's a preview of what Southern California summers could look like in a warming world. Marina Jurica, KCAL News.